So I studied all the different religions and I actually left Islam to last because I had such a huge amount of prejudice about it actually, you know. But as soon as I read chapter two, I was like, oh my God, I've been a Muslim my whole life. I didn't even realize it. Sitting, for people who, you know, I mean, visually, there are signs, but who don't know, you have, of course, converted to Islam yeah. and you wear the hijab. Yeah. Um, but this is quite a recent conversion, although yeah. you believe that it's something that's well, been within Islam, you all the time. Yeah, in Islam, you don't call it conversion, you call it reversion. The right. idea is that you were born Muslim in the first place. That if, you know, any, any person with any logic would realize they were Muslim all along. So that's actually what happened to me. I've been a theolo theologian all my life studying theology. But I never thought that I would join any particular religion, but because I grew up in a theocracy, I was very interested in theology. So I studied all the different religions, and I actually left Islam to last because I had such a huge amount of prejudice about it, actually, you know? But as soon as I read chapter two, I was like, oh my God, I've been a Muslim my whole life, and I didn't even realize it, so... And what was being it a Muslim is like two a, of the Quran that, that be, made be, you feel well, that? It, because it exists in or, its reason for existing is to perf uh, confirm all previous scripture and to complain about the fact that that scripture has been tampered with. And it then goes on to explain how it's been tampered with and what the correct stories are, you know? And I had always believed that the scriptures had been tampered with. What reaction have you had from other Muslims? Obviously, you're famously Catholic yeah, for most yeah, of your life. Nice reaction. Muslims are lovely people. Muslims are very tender and very loving people, despite what anyone may think, you know? So a lovely reaction, but you're, you're their sister. When you become a Muslim, you join what's called Umar, the family. Mm -hmm. So you're referred to as brother or sister or auntie, you know? And it's lovely, it's really lovely. Muslim people are very and sweet. And you talk about people. the prejudice that you had towards yeah. um, Muslims. Do you now experience that? Oh yeah, but, but it doesn't, it makes me laugh. You know, it actually makes me laugh because I suppose I'm used to, as a woman for a start, and, and as a bit of a controversial woman, I'm used to putting up with abuse. Do you know what I mean? But it actually makes me laugh, and in a strange way, it makes me proud. I can't really explain why. Mm. But if somebody hates me because I'm a Muslim, I kind of I stand up a bit tall. I was getting a lot of Islamophobia. It did at first make me very angry in Ireland. You know, that in, weirdly I would have women pull me aside, giving out to me about the hijab. But to me, I felt like, hold on, your hair is a hijab. You're telling me I'm conforming to Western men's idea of beauty. I'm not. I just like the hijab. I'm not required to wear it. But women is conforming to, sorry, they were accused me of conforming to Eastern men's idea of beauty, but Western women are doing the same thing with the hair. It's just the same as... You've it. got, I've just noticed one of the tattoos there is about Christ. I well, know. that's the thing. You see, the Quran exists to confirm all previous scripture, mm. the, the gospel and the Tanakh. So I don't have to leave my guys. I, can, I get to keep Judaism and I get to keep Christianity while being Islamic. You've got